Good morning. It is September 10th. Uh, I thought I would share some new um, photos that I got and uh, one video clip for you on some, well, you could either call them UFOs or you could call them AA. Keys, I think is the new like politically correct term. Um, I like to call them starships. <laughs> uh, and it seems like ever since I got the awesome crystal, uh, it really has helped to amplify the experiences and my intentions and uh, my meditations and even with uh, putting all of that aside, um, it's, it's actually, I've never really had such an experience with a crystal before, and um, this one is still pretty awesome. So um, it really has helped uh, make things clear, and it's helped me to receive also, receive more information and what I guess they, we call downloads, um, which has been kind of cool. So despite that, I, this whole subject and experience can be very uh, 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 shocking and um, um, is very controversial, controversial for society as a whole. And I understand that. And um, for myself, it was, it was nothing but I'll believe it when I see it until I really believe it. And so then I got my proof, you know, time and time again. And so now I'm getting more and more proof. And I feel like now the message is that I share. And I don't, I didn't want to share because this makes me feel weird. It makes, I know the perceptions um, from the mainstream. And um, it doesn't make me feel weird. I, I feel great. I feel insane. I, I mean, I think I, I like it, honestly. However, I don't like, you know, the way it can be perceived and that's what I don't like. Um, however, I can't change the way that people think and I don't want to, but what I, all I want to do here, I think why I'm coming out and doing these videos, uh, is to share, share, share what I have. And I want to be super transparent about how I get this information. And, um, so that, everyone can understand that it's available to them as well, um, or not. And you can just look at mine and you can make your own decisions. You can judge them all you want. You can call them birds and planes and satellites. Fine. I don't care. I think what's great is just to ponder and to wonder and to ask questions, but to be intelligent, right? And to be respectful, of course, as always. So that's if I do ask that. Um, however, I certainly can't stop anybody from making their judgments. But I hope that um, folks can use this information in these videos and play with them and uh, and just say, wow, because that's what I do. I just go, well, holy, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> so um, I want to put that out there. So um, how I get these photos. I get them, as I have mentioned before, is I first I meditate and I kind of get super clear and I get into a nice space. And um, and I don't really meditate on anything per se, I just get clear and open and empty and so, you know, into the nothing, into the void, which is for me my, my favorite place. And then um, after that, I do kind of say, all right, I I'm gonna go out and video. I talk to myself, <laughs> to them, but I, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I said, I'm gonna go out and take a little short video, slow motion, and um, I give myself 30 seconds in slow-mo because I think that usually equals about three minutes of having to watch the full slow motion video. And then, um, and I ask for flybys. I say, give me a couple flybys, let me see, let's see. And let's play, or you know, I don't force anything and just throw it out there. Um, so then from that, then I go back and review the video and there's things that kind of buzz in and out. And so then I slow it down even more and I crop out and I pull out those sections of the video that are the, the, the ships or the objects, let's call them objects. But I, you know, I, I'm sentimental at this point. 
um, so the objects come out. And so then from there, I, again, and this is all taken on my iPhone, the iPhone that's videoing this, this with the crappy little, it's not crappy, but whatever, it's a smaller version, the S or something, it's not the big fancy photo photography one, it's the S, small video, nothing special whatsoever. I'm also not a technical guru at all, so I cannot, there is no way I can put anything into some video or some picture. I don't have that capability. I can point and shoot, that's what I do, and I can meditate. <laughs> so that's how I get them. Um, then I put it in Lightroom. I do have Lightroom, because I do like photography. So I have Lightroom on my phone, which is a filter, um, and uh, multiple filters, and so I use those filters to pull out the light, to pull out some of the energy, to sharpen the image, to get rid of some of the busy noise outside of it, and so to really highlight the image and see what it looks like. So I get several different kinds of ships that, that cruise through, and so I'm kind of starting to learn which ones are which. So this is a learning process for me, and I'm sharing, as I feel like I'm supposed to do, sharing with you. Um, so there's a couple great photos from a week ago or so, and then lastly, there's a video. There's a video of a helicopter going over my house and you know, whatever, there's military bases. I don't, I'm not freaking out saying they're following me. No, there's plenty of us that are out there now that they can be, I'm not worried about that. Um, but you know, they're big and whatever. So I, I'm, I like to video things. So I stick my phone out and I video. And uh, lo and behold, a bunch of blipping starships. Um, chasing off the military helicopter, um, following right behind it. I had no idea. I'd already watched this video a couple times. And that's the other thing. Sometimes I go back to some of these videos that I think that I saw nothing on, and then there's like a fleet of, of objects, which is... So this is the, the, the interdimensional experience. And this is... I, I wanted to also finally, lastly, tie this in to yoga. And um, how do I do that? You know, because yoga is, is so so special to me, and, and is has seems to have been one of the avenues for me to experience this. And through it, it's been consciousness. Um, uh, yoga what has been the tool for me to act, activate my higher consciousness to um, move into these uh, dimensions, right? And as we move into these dimensions and through to the state of samadhi, which is where we're aiming as a yogi, right, to the state of bliss, of the super conscious, um, on our way, we go through these dimensions, you know, uh, dimensions of disclosure, that awesome conference I went to, it's, it's just that. So this is just a layer, it's a dimension um, for us to expand our consciousness into. And you can dive into it as I'm sort of doing, or you can say, oh yeah, I see. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, and, and I'm aware, and then you can move on. You don't have to dive into it. You don't, you don't have to be into it. Um, but it is something that we are kind of faced with at this moment. It seems like uh, there seems to be a lot of information, a lot of entertainment, a lot of media, and, um, and then there's some of us that kind of are just seeing it all the time. And so I, I'm, I'm researching and asking questions, and I, I'm doing my, my thing, but I think right now it's... Um, it's important to share and I hope that uh, you enjoy the photos. I hope you ask lots of questions. I hope you can poke at them and prod at them and wonder, like a child, just wonder what the heck and why and what do we do now? <laughs> so help me because I feel like I'm alone seeing this stuff and wandering all by myself. And so I need, I need some some support. <laughs> Please don't throw stones or lash me. I feel like I need support. I need to know that um, this is all good. And the other, the final, the last thing as I, as I end this, this is much longer than I was hoping, um, is that my experience is just like life. You attract what you put out. So put out the good vibes, put out the good energy. That's what you're going to get. That's what I get. Um, the, this, these ships, these beings, these entities, they're good, they're benevolent, they're, they're positive, they're of the highest vibration. Um, if, if there's a negative feeling, we all should know it and know that discerning. That's part of doing your inner work and being able to open up to 
to this dimension is knowing having your inner work and being able to discern your feelings your energy over somebody else's and anything else's and what that energy is is it a good energy is it a bad energy so again i don't like y'all in the best um and and so so far so good it's been working um enjoy and uh until the next one until i have more stuff i'll put it up all right namaste